Uh, what we're doing here is modeling the reason that the Earth has seasons, and there's actually two of them. And so uh, for our model here, we're going to be holding a globe, and then we've got the sun kind of standing in the middle here. Now the sun is leaning a little bit. That's not intentional. It's just because the base is broke. But um, as I take the globe, and this is one of your questions on your lab page, um, I've got the globe, and I start traveling around the sun. And as I travel around the sun, I am modeling something that the Earth does. This is the Earth's revolution. So as the Earth revolves, it goes around in an orbit, around the sun like this. And obviously the Earth is not to scale, we're not in the right distance and all that. But uh, as we revolve, it takes a certain amount of time, which is 365.25 days, or 365 and one quarter day. Now you've been taught that it's just 365 days before, and that's not entirely true because every four years we have leap year, right? And that's because that one quarter day every four years ends up adding up to one total day. So that's the first part. Now you know that you have enough now that you should be able to go back. You've written your problem. Why does the Earth have seasons? We've gone through those questions a little bit. I just modeled for you. And now you should be able to come up with a hypothesis. I think that the Earth has seasons because. Pause it and then write your hypothesis and then come back. Now for the next part, we're going to do our procedure. The procedure has four positions that we're going to end up holding the globe around the sun. And so the instructions actually tell you, and so you can actually see me doing it, that we're going to take the globe and we're going to find Texas, Lubbock, Texas specifically. So when you're in real close here, Lubbock, Texas, right there. And we're going to take Lubbock, Texas, and we're going to point it at the sun. And we're going to do this in four different spots. So I'm just going to start right here at this spot, point at Lubbock, Texas, and then I have to put the tilt in. And I told the kids when we were actually doing this that the tilt is always going to be at the front of the room, on this wall of the room. So I'm going to take the North Pole, I'm going to tilt it just a little bit. The tilt of the Earth is about 23.5 degrees, so we don't tilt it all the way like this. We're just going to tilt it a little bit. And I'm going to look at Lubbock, Texas. So come on in and get a close-up on, on, on Texas right here. As I'm looking right here at this part of the Earth, the sun's energy is coming in, and it is very focused right here on this part of the Earth. Down here in the bottom part of the Earth, it's not very focused. So right here where it is focused, there's lots of energy. It's going to be very, very hot, very warm. Down here where it's not focused, it's going to be a lot cooler because the light is spread out. So right here for this part of Lubbock, Texas, when it is warm, because the tilt of the Earth has the Lubbock point at the sun, it's going to be summer. Okay. Now I'm going to go around the sun this direction. I'm going to do a different position. Now this position, I have to keep the tilt at that wall. So I'm going to tilt. I'm going to spin it so that Texas is pointed because that's where we're worried about. We're worried about the season here for Texas. And as I've, I'm looking here, now the sun is more focused at the equator. It's not focused up north anymore. The sun's energy is coming in, and it's relatively evenly spread for the northern and the southern hemisphere. So the temperature is going to start dropping. As the temperature drops, and I move from summer towards the next season, so what season is after summer? Fall. And you can tell it's fall because the energy is getting more spread out. Okay, I'm going to come around the sun a little more. New position. I'm going to keep the tilt towards this wall. Lubbock, Texas, pointed at the sun. But the way that it's held here, now the sun's energy is focused in the southern hemisphere. And Lubbock, Texas is not getting hardly any energy from the sun. Because it's not getting much energy at all, that energy is very spread out. And this is going to be cold, so this position is winter. And then last but not least, come around to the last spot. It's going to be very similar to fall. Tilt towards this wall because the tilt stays the same. Lubbock, Texas pointed towards the sun. Energy is focused again at the equator, so it's kind of hot here, kind of hot here in between, and we're moving from winter towards summer, so in between we've got spring. So those are the four seasons. Now as you go through, you should have enough information that you should be able to label the locations in the diagram at the bottom of the page. Be careful and look at the way that the Earth is tilted, not how much Earth is actually lit up. Look at the way that the earth is tilted and that will tell you which season is in which spot.